biotech entrepreneur and author of Woke Inc., Vivek Ramaswamy, joining us. Let me just tie in what we just heard there, um, because there's some concern that the that the administration is sort of changing the conversation from the developments that are happening in Afghanistan and the fact that there are still so many Americans left stranded on the ground there to other things like taking on Trump appointees at military academies. Spy uh, Sean Spicer tweeting this, instead of focusing on the stranded Americans left in Afghanistan, he says President Biden's trying to terminate the Trump appointees to the Naval Academy, West Point, and Air Force Academy. We heard from General Keene, top of the last hour, Kellyanne Conway and others. So is that the goal? Well, look, Sandra, I think it is. They're masters at changing the topic of conversation, but I think this is worse than that. They are silencing dissent. These are open critics of the president's execution of the exit from Afghanistan, and they are sending a message. There are 18 people that they have purged from three military academies. There's an ideological purge in this country where the Biden administration claims to care about diversity and, and, and inclusion. Well, guess what? In the name of diversity, they have completely sacrificed true diversity of thought. In the name of inclusion, they're creating a new political culture where certain points of view just aren't welcome through direct firings, through using social media companies as proxies. And he said he wanted to unite the country. I cannot think of a worse way to divide this country than to silence your political opposition. That's what he's doing. Jen Psaki earlier in an interview defended these military oustings. Listen. No one's looking to have a battle here. Uh, the, the president of the United States, just as every president and every administration and cabinet members have the right to appoint people they deem as qualified, as aligned with the administration's uh, viewpoint, uh, you know, priorities uh, to these boards and to any position in the federal government. And that's what we're really talking about here. But uh, we, we're confident in our in our right to to make uh, new new decisions about who serves on these boards. Unprecedented is what one board member is quoted in the New York Post saying about this. This is why it's such a big deal. Historically, it's never been done, pointing out that Trump didn't perform a single purge. Look, I think there is a difference between whether the government has the right to do it, whether it's the right thing for the government to actually do. So, yes, do they have a legal right to do it? Was there a legal issue at the ousting? Maybe not. Now, that's actually even debatable. But was it the right thing to do? Absolutely not. Because I think it is sending a message to say that we do not value open debate in this country. We don't value political dissent. And what we have right now going on in this country, Sandra, in plain sight, is a Chinese-style cultural revolution in this country. I never thought we'd see it on American soil. Yet in the banner of progressivism, we've actually rejected true liberalism in plain sight. I know it's a stark warning you've put out there. You put it out in your book, Woking. Good to have you here, uh, Vivek. Thank you. Good to see you, Sandra. Glad we can get that in.